Hey friends, welcome to Circle Time. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? I'm so glad you're here today. Hello, hello, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, today is Thursday, or Wednesday. Today's a Wednesday. And um, yesterday was the number four. So I wonder what number comes after four. Should we count and find out? And then we're gonna count to 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's the number five and it comes after four. All right, let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, and let's do it in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, Siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Good counting. All right. Um, we have been working on the letter Q. I want to read to you our Q poem from this week, okay? Q is for queen with a crown on her head. We have a picture of a queen right here. Q is for a quilt that covers my bed. Q is for question I like to ask. And Q is for ducks that go quack, quack, quack. Q is for quarter and quick and quill. Uh, I like Q and I always will. And a couple other Q things are qu quiet and qu quail. All those things make the qu sound. The Q says qu, the Q says qu. Every letter makes a sound, the Q says qu. Good. All right, friends, we learned about insects yesterday, didn't we? Um, we talked about all different things about insects. We learned that spiders aren't insects, but that insects have six legs, right? They have an exoskeleton, which is a hard shell, right? And we learned a lot of other things about insects. Um, today, we're gonna look at one of those insects, one kind of insect, a, a butterfly. So we're gonna learn how all about butterflies. Okay, so here's my little book here. It says all about butterflies. All right, it says butterflies come in many different colors and sizes. There are over 17,000 kinds of butterflies in the world. That is a lot of different kinds of butterflies, isn't it? Um, here we have parts of the butterfly. We have its eyes are down here. It has antenna. We learned yesterday that they use their antenna to, to smell and to hear, to touch, and sometimes even to taste. They have a thorax which is the middle part of their body, like where we have our arms. Um, and they have an abdomen, which is our lower part of our body, which is kind of where they go poop or they go potty. And they have wings. Butterflies definitely have wings, don't they? That's the biggest part of the butterfly. A butterfly is an insect and they have six legs, antennas, four wings, and two body parts, not counting their head. Um, each wing is covered 
by teeny tiny scales. Just like a fish, it has little tiny scales all over it. I didn't know that. Butterflies drink nectar from flowers using their proboscis. It's a, look at that, it sticks out of their mouth right there. And it goes into the flower and they drink the juices out of the flower. It works just like a straw. Nectar is the sweet juice in the middle of the flower. Did you know that there's juice in the middle of a flower? We're learning so much. Butterflies start out as eggs. Here we have some eggs on a leaf. The mother butterfly lays the eggs on the leaf and, leaf and leaves them there. Um, butterfly eggs come in many sizes, shapes, and colors, just like butterflies. Soon the eggs will hatch and the caterpillar eats a hole in the shell of the egg and wiggles out. Now the caterpillar will eat the rest of the shell and then the leaf that it's sitting on. Um, when they grow too big for their skin, they shed the old skin just like a snake. So when a caterpillar starts out, it's teeny tiny. And as it gets bigger, his skin comes, he sheds his skin off and then it grows bigger and then it sheds more skin and grows bigger and sheds more skin. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Just like a snake, when it grows, it sheds its skin off when it gets too big. After about two weeks, the caterpillar will hang upside down from a stick or to nest and soon a hard chrysalis will form around the caterpillar. Do you see how as the caterpillar is hanging down there, his skin kind of, he sheds his skin again and it wiggles up. The caterpillar will wiggle. It's pretty cool to watch. It will wiggle and the skin will come up to the top until it falls off and we just have the chrysalis hanging there. I'll have to find a video of this happening and post it on our Facebook. So it's really cool to watch. Uh, inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar is changing into a butterfly. The chrysalis begins to shake and the butterfly breaks out. The wings are wet, so it waits for them to dry. Once the wings are dry, and it'll, it will fly away. And we're gonna get to see this in our classroom with our um, caterpillars. The chrysalises are formed um, like this one here. And pretty soon they're gonna start wiggling and coming out of their chrysalis and they're gonna hang there and while their wings dry and our, chrys our, cat our butterflies, um, the liquid that's on their wings kind of has a red look. So it's, it, there'll be red on the outside of our, um, our habitat where they're at. It's really different to look at. We'll have to, if you're in class, you'll get to see that. All right, so that's all about butterflies. Pretty cool information, isn't it? All right, friends, that's it for today. We will, I will see you again tomorrow for circle time, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, guys.